Hey guys! In this video, I'll show you how to use navigation on your Samsung Galaxy Watch 7. Let's get started. So, if you just swipe left, you'll see the tiles. But most of them are for the health or workouts. And if you scroll till the end, you can see the option to add tiles. So you can choose any from the list. For example, you can add contacts. Just tap it and it will be immediately added to tiles. Now, if you just swipe down from the top, you'll open quick panel. And here you can see many functions, such as enabling water lock. To disable it, just press and hold it, and it will be turning off. But don't forget to shake your watch after this, to eject all of the water. If you want to see your recent notifications, just swipe right from the watch face, and here they are. You can also use this touch bezel to scroll through them, like this. And to open the list of applications, just swipe up. And here it is. You can also just swipe up or down using your finger. And you can also use this touch bezel on the right side of the watch to scroll through the apps. Now let's discuss buttons. To go to the previous page or previous action, just tap this side button like this. Now to trigger Bixby, you would need to press and hold this home key button. And here it is. And if double press on this button, you will open the list of all of the recent applications. And you can close them all by tapping this option. If you want to customize these functions, you can simply do it through the settings. So let's just open it. And then we would need to find this tab, which is named Buttons and Gestures. And here you can customize gestures for home button, for example, double press, you can switch to open settings. And press and hold, you can switch to Google Assistant. You can do just the same for this back button. If you have started a workout, you can see it right on your watch face. Let's just press this home button. And here you can see the icon for walking, for example. And also this cute animation on the watch face. And also here on the watch face, you can add widgets. Just press and hold it. And then let's choose another watch face. And here we can see the option to customize it. So let's choose it. And after this, you would be able to change the color of the background, the hands, the hand color and complication. And in complication, just by tapping on each of these sides, you'll be able to add some widgets. For example, let's add the weather. And for the left side, let's replace tabs with phone, for example. And when you are done, just tap this back button. And here it is. And the last thing you can do, you can enable some gestures. For this, just swipe up to open settings as before. And as before, choose buttons and gestures tab. Here, scroll a little bit till you'll see this gestures section. So you can either enable or disable the double pinch. So you can pinch twice to answer calls, dismiss alerts, launch apps, control your music and take photos. But if you just scroll a little bit more, you'll see that this gesture does not work anywhere, but you'll see the double pinch icon in the places where you can use this gesture. And another one is shake to dismiss. So you can enable it if you want to rotate your wrist twice to decline incoming calls or dismiss alerts such as alarms, timers and reminders. And the last thing is knock knock. You can enable this function and set an action for it. Just tap it and, for example, for knock knock, I want to choose to turn on flashlight. And now when you will wear your watch and just do this gesture, it will enable a flashlight immediately, just like this. You can also change its intensity by rotating this bezel on the top of the screen. And that's it! Now you know how to navigate on your Samsung Galaxy Watch 7. Hope this video was useful for you and thank you so much for watching!